Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the logic board, the motherboard, in the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So first thing you want to do is make sure your device is powered off, so go ahead and power that off. Next you want to take a SIM eject tool and remove any SIM cards or memory cards. I'll include a link in the video description below the video for any tools that I'm going to be using today during this repair or any parts that I'm going to be replacing. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include a link in the video description, so check it out there. So next what we need to do is we need to heat up this back part right here all along the edge. And I'm going to just use a hair dryer like this. You can use a hair dryer or heat gun. And what we need to do is apply some heat. You don't want to apply it too much at a time, just a little bit at a time, but we need to do enough to soften this adhesive around the edge here. It's got some strong adhesive there. And you don't want to heat it a whole lot hotter than what you can touch, but just heat it a little bit at a time. So now that you've heated it up some, what we're going to need to do is start right in the bottom right here. And we got this really super thin pry tool. And I'll link to this in the description where you can find it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get started right here in the very bottom. I'm going to apply a little more heat because it's already cooling down on me. Then what we need to do is use like playing cards. I would use a deck of playing cards because they're really slippery and they're thin and you can get under here and we're just going to work our way around. The reason for using cards is because of this edge right here. You'll break this if you don't use this card like this or something similar. And if it's hot enough you should be able just to slide right around like this. I'm actually going to leave this card in here and work on this corner. But now this has cooled off already quite a bit, so I'm going to apply a little more heat. So now that you've applied some more heat, what I would do is move this over to this side a little more so it opens up a little more here. And then just get your card in here. Now one thing I do want to point out is you don't want to go in very far. Make sure to stay close to the edge all the way around. The wireless charging pad is right in here, kind of. You don't want to make sure you don't damage that and different things up through here. You just want to make sure to not go in very far. So now we'll just try to slide up through here. Now that we got that side quite loose, we'll leave this one in here. So now we're going to remove this. So I ended up having to give it a little more heat, and I'm going to see if I can slide in here. So now once you have it loose enough, you can pull your playing cards out, which I did. And then just slowly keep working your way up. And up in this top corner right here, there's lots of adhesive, so watch that. And then you can see it's letting loose in there. And then the back cover comes off just like that. If this video was helpful to you so far, I would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. I would appreciate that. Next, what we're going to want to do is remove this gold tape right here. So just set it off to the side there. Next, you're going to want to take a Phillips screwdriver size 000 and you're going to want to remove all these 12 screws all the way around here. Now that you've removed 12 screws all the way around, what we're going to do is we've got to move these plastic covers here. And this one comes off first, the middle one comes off next, and the bottom one comes off last. That's how they're put together. So what we're going to do is just go right under this front right run right here. I'm going to pry up carefully. Watch the logic board under there. And this one lifts off. Next we're going to take the middle one out and what I found works really good is if you pry carefully right under here it just kind of snaps up. Then next last but not least the bottom one of course comes out. So next to remove the logic board, the motherboard, what we're going to need to do is disconnect some different connectors here. So first of all let's go ahead and disconnect the battery right here so it can't hurt anything. Then let's disconnect this connector right here. Disconnect this one right here beside it. Let's disconnect this one over here. Next, we'll disconnect this connector and this one. Now, I would recommend using something plastic for this and something non-metallic. You can even use your fingernails if you don't have anything else. Let's disconnect this one. Then we need to disconnect these two antenna wires. For this, we are going to need to use something metallic, but we're just going to pry up gently. Then I'm going to turn the phone this way, and we're going to gently pry up right in here. Watch the different connectors as you pull the board out of here. They like to catch as you're bringing it up. And then now we have a connector right down here we need to disconnect. And the whole logic board comes out just like that. Now to swap things over from your old logic board here to your new one, what you're going to need to do first of all is remove the rear camera. Just gently pry up with something. And it just has adhesive under it. You can carefully pry right there. And the rear camera comes right out. Next we're going to flip it over. We're going to pry right under here for the front camera. And that comes right out. Now grab your new board that you want to swap into your phone and reinstall the front camera. Flip it over and reinstall the rear camera. Let's just set it down in there. Make sure it's stuck down good. Check the connections and you're all set. Next to reinstall the Logic motherboard, what you want to do is set it down and you want to reconnect this connector right here first. Watch all the different connectors and antenna wires as you set it down in here. They all want to grab and get in the way. So you have to pull them back out of the way as you set it down in here. Watch these two connectors on top here. Just take your time and be patient. If it doesn't want to sit down right, good chance you missed a connector somewhere that's sitting underneath it. So just check very carefully. So then what we're going to do, 
Make sure the front camera sets down in here. I'm gonna use a tweezer so you can see, but we need to reconnect that connector and that connector. Next, we're gonna reconnect this connector. Next, we're gonna reconnect this one. Press down, we're gonna reconnect this connector. There's a lot of connectors here. We need to reconnect this one down here. Now we need to reconnect this antenna wire down here. The blue one and the white one. They're a little tricky to reconnect, just take your time. Then lastly, let's reconnect the battery connector right here. Next, you can go ahead and put this yellow tape back on. Next, we're gonna snap this bottom one back in here. Just press it down. Next, we're gonna grab this middle one here. And it needs to start down in here first in these little tabs right here. It locks in and then you can snap it down like that. Then same up here, these little tabs over here go in first. And you snap that all together. Then go ahead and put all your 12 screws back in all the way around. Now next we got the back cover here and we got all this adhesive hanging on in here. And we're going to try to pull this all off as much as possible. It's all stretched out. So try to get it as clean as possible. So next to put the back cover back on, we got some new adhesive here. I'll link to this in the description where you can find it too. Now that you put your adhesive on the back all the way around, be careful not to touch it or get it dirty or dusty. Then grab your back cover, set it right down on here, press it down all the way around. Then I would recommend maybe giving it some heat a little bit and just to press it down good so it for sure sticks good. Then power onto your device. You can install your SIM tray with any memory cards or SIM cards that you might have. And you can go ahead and make sure everything's working and you're all set. Thanks for watching.